G'day, Steve here with Working Masterclass and just finishing off this chair that I've been working on for the last three days. I thought I might as well share it with you. Where's my phone so I can get the chat happening? So what I want to do today is finish these chairs or this chair and, excuse me while I just get the chat up, and then I want to do a frame for uh, somebody and... That should just about, I'll see how I go. If I don't hit any obstacles, we'll have a good stream. Um, let me just go to my channel here. And there I am. And I'm up. So if I go like that, I don't need that. I just want to see if I... <laughs> Where's the chat? Um... Oh, for goodness sake. Skip ad, that's what I want. There we go. If There we go, it's all happening. Um, so that's it. I've glued this together. I've got the uh, arms that I've mortised, so I've just got to clean the mortises up, put those in, put a round over on this with a, um, a router, which we will do, and then oil this. What I might do first is finish sanding this by finish sanding i mean i've finished sanding but now i'm going to finish sanding i'll just go over with 240 because what i want to do is oil this and i shall do that as well put these up here i can't believe i'm getting organized perhaps i don't know it might be an end of year thing or do you think it could be something for 2023 who knows who knows Anything can happen in this workshop. Oh, dear, oh, dear. There we go. Okie dokie. So that's looking all right. If I go over to this camera here and I go like that, you can then see how it's looking. There's no rock in it. So it's nice and square. These will fit on the top and everything should be good to go. Ah, here we go. All right. Put this scraper away. How is everyone? I hope you're all doing good. Let me just get this out here. Um, Derek, well, good morning. That's it. How come that's working on that one? It's not working on the phone. I've got to check that out. William, greetings from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Well, back at you from Sydney, Australia. No, Sydney. What, what am I, Sydney? Brisbane. Oh, dear. I'm just trying to find out why I'm not getting... Any chat coming through on here? Nothing is coming through. Live chat. Ah, there we go. We're there, we're there. Derek, Merry Christmas to you too and anyone else that's around. Hope you have a good one, a safe one. I'm actually thinking I might even stream on Christmas Day. Um, only because some people might not be doing anything, and so it's nice. I'll see how I go anyway. What am I looking for? 240. Uh, what have we got? What have we got? William from Massachusetts, welcome. I said Brisbane and not Sydney. Uh, Panda, mate, how you going? Long time no chat. Uh, yeah, no, I'm quite happy with the chair. It's, it's fairly light. Um, but it's in the timber the, the guy wanted, so it's all good. T-Bone, g'day mate, how you going? Another stinker here today. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to clean this up. Now, if you're doing a job and you've got to put putty in it because it's got a couple of gaps, I don't put putty in it until I've put a coat of lacquer on it. Or, or whatever finish. In this case, this is going to be oiled. And I will show you for why shortly. 
Whoops. And um, I've said it many times before. If you've got pencil marks, I've got a pencil mark there that was denoting it was a rail, so I knew where it was. Do not try and sand them off. The reason being when you're sanding, you're putting pressure on it and you're actually rubbing the graphite into the grain. So you can end up with a dip. So your best way to get pencil off is with a common pencil rubber or an eraser. Just go like that. And then you can sand. I don't know if I've got one, I've got one on the back here. Yeah. It's just a lot easier than trying to get uh, like that, and then you get a dip and a hollow in it, which isn't always favourable. Now, I could be using a sanding block, but I, if I'm doing marquetry, I'll definitely use a sanding block. But on timber, I like the feel I get through my fingers, as I can tell if it's smooth or if it's got any little nicks or indentations or whatever in it. So I prefer using my fingers. Let's see if I can get that one up there. Yeah. Oh, I've got to share something with you in a minute. Ha! <laughs> Horrible. Hilarious. But I'll just do this and then I will share. Something. It's to do with a parcel, I had to pick a parcel up, or I've got a parcel. Got a delivery. That's what they call it, I've got a delivery. Um, I softened it with a, uh, a round over, round a bit, just a very small one. I've just lost the camera there. I just saw it come from together. Oh, I don't know if I'll be using it for a while. That's the number two camera. Uh, um, yeah, so sometimes you get little burn marks where it's either hesitated or the router's hit a tough spot. And it gives you a little bit of a burn. Now's the time to take them off. Many times it's very hard to do it with a bit of sandpaper. But if you have a card scraper, one of these little doohickeys, this is a um, Sandvik one. Well, they used to be Barco. It could be Barco. It used to be Sandvik. Now they're Barco, I think. But it's just a cabinet scraper. And they are absolutely ideal for getting those marks off. I, if I've got one here, I'll show you. I don't think, I think I got them off last night. Don't know. Have a look. Dude, love your work and tis the season to be homemaking. I couldn't agree more. In fact, the frame I'm making is actually full. I've got a glue spot there, that's why I'm going to use the cabinet scraper. on. Um, yeah, it's uh, for a Chrissy present. This also is a Christmas present I'm doing here, not for me. For someone else. That's getting a bit... Oh. Cantankerous. Um, seems to have gone. Oh no, there it is. There it is. Right there. Got it. Got it. I wouldn't have picked that up if I was using a cork block as easily as I did using hand sanding because I could just feel it in the fingers. So I thought something's not quite right there. Better get it fixed. 
Got to route the um, arms too, but I'll do that with a hand router. Not on. So everything's good. I tell you, this, this takes me back to the seventies doing this. Not that I was doing this in the seventies. This is the furniture of the seventies. I think I might have said in the last stream. Uh, this is a, a Don Rex style of chair, which was an Australian. I'm sure they had other ones around the world. But I had a look just out of interest on Gumtree and Marketplace. Genuine Don Rex furniture, these chairs, are going for $2,500 each. Oh, goodness Christ. It's just me. Okay. Oop. I'm there. Panda, I'm working on extending the dining room table for Christmas. Widened it with hickory a couple of months ago and now it's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. Then you'll have nice memories around panda. It'll be good. And that's really all we can do, isn't it? I've, I've said before, this Christmas is a bit special to Susie and I. It's the first time in 15 years I've got all my son and got them all living in Queensland now, which is lovely. And, and, and Susie made a traditional Christmas cake with marzipan and royal icing on it and I just pinched a bit out of the fridge and I got it here. Oh, that's mine. It was all right. She made a fruit cake the other day, one and a half dozen eggs in it. The girls have been working all the time in the backyard. That's not too bad. That's quite nice. That's quite nice. That's nice. That one hasn't been done yet. I'm not really a fan of the oak, but when this gets oil on it, it's going to blow your mind when you see the colour that comes out. Because it's pretty insipid at the moment. And uh, this stuff, I think most other than silky, which isn't the real good silky, but it's all right. Hey, Brenda, how are you? Lovely to have you in. I might not have mentioned you in my long-time supporters speech the other day, but thank you. Brenda's been with me a long time too. I've got a little hole here at the back that I could fill, but I'll show you. In fact, I might use that as an example of why I don't fill until I put a coat on it. <laughs> I'm sure there's four legs. That's got a little bit of, I don't know, might be a little bit of glue in there. And you want to make sure you've got all your glue off the timber you put a finish on because the glue will seal the timber. Your finish won't get in. And so you end up with this horrible white blotch. 
I think that's going to be pretty darn close. Okay, that's all right. Uh, that's not... It's so nice too to get away from machines for a while and do a bit of the old hands on stuff. Apart from the fact it's quieter, which I do like. All right, I think that's it. Oh no, still got a bit in there. Don't forget this is only 240, so it's not really aggressive paper, but it's good enough that I can put an oil finish on. around there, 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 a little bit on that corner. That's good. A little bit on the inside there. Okay, that's feeling pretty nice. Ah, oh. um, that's what I was going to show you. Here we go. Got a package, right? Arrived. So I opened the box. Box. What was inside the box? So I then opened that. And that was inside that. And then I opened that. And that was inside that. So, basically, I had a box delivered with that inside it. <laughs> I, I reckon that was absolutely brilliant. Loved it. Oh, dear, oh, dear. That's a, um, a one in one in forty one in forty eight pin reamer. That's so I can ream out the holes for ups to put the pins in. But yeah, I just thought that was interesting. So I, I really don't know if I should keep all the boxes or just keep it in there. Although that you're not gonna, you're not going to lose that box, are you? Okie dokie. Uh, hey Vince, how are you? Merry Christmas to you too. All right, now we'll do a little bit of, I'll show you what I mean, type thing. Little twig hole here. I want to fill. Mm. 
Now, what I'm going to do is use these water-based putties. That's pretty close, but it needs to be a lot lighter. So what I'm going to do is turn this up around the other way. The great thing about this water putty is if it goes hard, all you have to do is put water in it and it'll go soft again, which is good. Now put a little bit of that there. We'll mix that together and see how we go. If you have a look at that colour there, pretty close. Now what we'll do, a little bit more maple maybe. All right. What the girls are laying eggs today. <sighs> now I didn't blank that off the wood. But that's pretty close. Let me move that around that way so you can see. It's a pretty close match. But now we're going to put a finish on and see what happens. Um, what I'm using again is uh, organ oil. Now this is decking oil. The reason I'm using decking oil is because there's a good chance this chair is going to be outside. If it was going to be I'd use Danish oil, but outside I've found decking oil works quite nicely. I'm going to put gloves on. I don't really like wearing gloves. I want to get stained for Christmas Day. Might change the flavour of me turkey. And here we go. Just put these nice gloves, I love them. They are so good, but oh boy, didn't they go up in price? They used to be eight dollars a box and twenty or thirty dollars a box now. And I've got any rag around here. Oh, I'll have a sip of coffee though. I start drinking that at about ten o'clock, so yeah, that's that's not too bad. It's only two hours. Um, I was looking for a foam brush, can't find one, so let me just go over here, My, <laughs> that'd be right, I can't find that there, could be some cloth over here, there we go, some cloth, uh, that'll do, all right. Um, initially I'm just going to put this on fairly liberally and we'll see what happens. Just make a bit of space here. Um, Where is, I'm looking for my baking. So I want to put it down so I don't get this stuff all over me. 
my bench. There's two rolls of the stuff. Floating around. Ah, there you go. Hanging up on the floor. Okay. And one more for good luck. There you go. Are you ready? I might do this camera here. So you can see it going on. I'll give you a close up first of the colour change that's going to happen. Okay, here we go. Give it a good shake. And Now, have a look at the difference in that colour. So if I kept this putty, which is, where is it? That putty there, and I wipe that. Have a look at the difference in colour between the putty and the timber. That's why I would suggest if you're going to put at least put a coat of something on it. Um, if you're going to spray it, make it a, a light spray. If you're going to oil it, just put oil on it and then you can get the colour. Or worst case scenario, get a scrap bit of the timber that you're going to be using and put whatever your finish is on that and then hold that up against your job and colour match any putty you use to go with that sample. Because as you can see with this, as you saw before, the colour variation between, where is it? Yeah, there you go between the timber and an oil. And that is a clean oil. It has not got any colour in it at all. It's just a pure oil. It's the colour of the, the rag. So it's clean. And I have seen too many people ruin jobs by hooking in and doing that, putting the putty on and then finishing the job. And the putty just sticks out like, if you're in Australia, you know what it sticks out like. So I'm going to give this a few coats and that will be happening all during the day and um, and tomorrow I might give it a whack. But from where I'm sitting, it really does look good. Puh, stinks too. When I've done this, I'll move on to finishing the arms off. What's going on there? I picked up a bit of putty off the bench there. There we go.
Bum, 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 bum. Ugh. It's a bit boring, this, to watch, but it has to be done. And, and I'm not talking because I'm actually concentrating. Oh, these gloves feel foul. They feel... But... It's good because I'm not getting any on my hands. Gee, that looks nice. I don't know if you can get the full picture of it, but... I should have half, shouldn't I? And I could have. Oh, I've got to clean that putty out later. And I could have done it before. If I read the tin, it'll most likely say using a well ventilated air. And I can understand why being this close to it. But it does get a lovely, lovely finish. Okay, I might um, take these off. Get this other camera from over here. So you can get a real good close up look at it. So that really brings the colour out and the grain. Don't know if it's going to focus. There you go. Lovely grain in it. So I'm pretty happy with that job. I'll put that to one side to dry. Legs. Oh, we got them back again, have we? Oh, dear. I don't know if they got bots there or are they actually doing it. Yeah, it, it, uh, it really does make a difference. So I'm going to put that to one side and we'll work on the other part now. Oh. All right. That can go there. Top on this because what are the odds? What are the odds I'm going to knock out? Pretty good, I think. That there, that there. Okay. Bring this one down there. These are the arms. And um, I don't know if you 
been watching, but the... I'll do it this way. These are the arms. I don't know if you watched the first couple, but this piece here I think is just absolutely gorgeous. But it had a great big bark inclusion here. So I've just put a patch. The timber came out from about here. Um, so it is noticeable in the back of the chair, so it won't be as noticeable. Again, mortises on the slot mortiser, and I'll just square those off. Now using a chisel. G'day, mate. You're back in the good books. You're back in the good books, old son. Oh, I was, after you did that post, Trev, I was talking to Theo. He roared with laughter. Oh, okay. Mm. It's a new mouth. I haven't, <laughs> haven't broken it in yet. It's a downside. Isn't it? But the upside is I don't have to shave. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay. Let's clean these ones up. Oh, I might even right here so we can do that this way. I think I'm up for a new um, apron soon, so I might, might have to make that. Okay, where are we? There. So we'll put that there. So I've got to square these over. As I said the other day, if you've got, these are pretty close to the line with these, but I know I've got one that's off the line like that. So here, I'm going to put the chisel right on that line, or actually right on the inside of that line, and then give it a little smack. And the same on the other side. And then we can clean those up. <coughs> Is it too big? Nah. Just a good size. Couple of cuts, and that's it. You've got a nice square mortise now, instead of a round one. I mean, the, the thing is, <clears throat> as we discussed the other day, when it's actually put together, no one can tell, except pulling it apart to fix it. Um, oh, okay. But I just think it's, it's more professional to another um, skill. To learn whether it be a chisel skill or a planing skill, and if you muff it up for whatever reason, it doesn't matter because no one's going to see it. But you will know it's there. All right, here's one here. This is a little bit further away from the line. Again, it doesn't matter so much on this, but. Uh, I was doing something and it was an exposed mortise and tenon, you'd see it. If I put the chisel right on the line there and smack it, I'll show you what it'll do. I've actually gone past the line. What that is, is that bevel is pushing the chisel that way. So by doing that, I've gone past the line. If I had an exposed, you'd see a gap there, which is, you know, not ideal, not 
what you want. So on the other one, I'll show you how to approach that situation. Isn't that a great sound? Sharp chisel, pairing wood. All right. There you can see that line, I've actually pushed past the line I drew, whereas here I'm on the inside of the line. And the inside of the pencil line, your thickness. The outside is too big because you've got the hole you wanted to cut plus the width of a pencil. But that will do us there. I'll show you how to approach it. Uh, what have we got? Jamie, good day, mate. Hey, congratulations on your new. I hope they're doing. Mum and Bubba doing well. Jared, good day. Well, just I don't know what I'm doing live, so you really can't um, judge it, Jared. I'm sorry, just the way it is. Uh, what am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to show you how to do that the other way. That's it. Okay. All right. Here's one. Again, I'm way past the line. If I put that chisel on the line, I'm going to be absolutely not in a happy place. So what I'm going to do is bring that down. That's my first cut. Just before the, the curve, and I'm going to make another cut. I've halved the distance. I'll halve it again. Now I've taken it to that line. So I want to give the next beyond that line because I've taken all the timber out from the back of the chisel. So we go right on the inside of that line and I can go straight down. Oh, I went a little bit skewy on that but not too bad. because I was watching the monitor and not me. But you can see, especially the top part, I'm right on that line. Whereas if I'd gone straight in on this line here, I would have actually pumped it into that timber. That's just a little thing to think of when you're doing it. But you only learn these things through doing it wrong so many times. That's a better one. There you go. All right. That one's right on the line there. And look, what was it? I think Wes, Wes, if you're watching. Um, g'day, Henge as well. Put a, a post up the other day. There's no such thing. There's no different techniques between a white belt and the black belt in karate. There is only basics done by a white belt. 
basics done by a black belt. And um, yeah, I agree with that. Some of the cuts are a little bit more complex. But it's all basic, isn't it? A nice square mortar. One more to go, and then yeah, we'll get the router out. We'll make a noise. I was actually going to do it outside, but when I did the rest of um, the chair, there's not that much coming off, so I don't care. I'll do it in here. You've been busy, Jared, what do you do? It's good to find someone that loves what they do. I know I love what I do. Someone asked me the other day, how long have you worked? And I said, well, if you class work, only up a place you don't want to be, doing something you don't like, getting paid what you're worth. I haven't worked for years. Because I just love what I do. And pushing myself. I saw a great quote the other day on, I don't know what it was on, actually, but a tribute, well, it wasn't a tribute, it was David Bowie, because David Bowie was being interviewed. And what he said about creativity, I thought he is so on the money. You can never be. Don't quote me because it's David Bowie, but I agree with you 100%. You can never be true creative and let your true creative side out if you're doing it for other people because they are colouring your creativity with what they do. And the other thing is if you are doing something and you feel very safe and comfortable with what you're doing, you're not going to be creative. So what you have to do is take yourself to a place is slightly uncomfortable. And believe me, with musical instruments, oh boy, did I go there. Um, and what it is, you're stretching yourself, and when you stretch yourself and you've got challenges that you don't know how to overcome, you've got to work on it yourself. And his phrase, if I can get exactly what it was, it was, if you're in a place doing what you love, if you're doing what you love in a place where you don't feel comfortable, that's when the magic will happen. And it is so true. And you have these beautiful aha moments. And uh, another mate of mine, uh, to have an expression is once the mind's been stretched by a new idea, it can never go back to what it was before. And that works positively and negatively. So see if you can just keep the, the good thoughts going. We've all had our share of negative ones. And I know I'm, I've got a black belt in beating. Oh, that's not good enough. Who are you kidding? You're a joke. You can't do that right. And all this rubbish. And then you get up and the sun shines and you go, wow, I can do it. <sighs> hey, Steve, did she? She did some <laughs> on Christmas cards and painted me as a Grinch. That's fairly well. She 
And she wouldn't have to have go far for a model, would she? <laughs> no, you're a lovely Trevor, despite what everyone says about you. No, Trevor's a good mate. So's Gary. Um, all right, now I've got to route these. So I to do that. See, he's stretching myself already. Um, no, we might do it right. We'll, we'll do it this way. I'll back that off. And I'll put it there. This map here, I, I bought this. They were new. No one had heard of these. It cost a fortune too. For the times, I think I bought it in the mid-90s. A router map. Put it and do work and it wouldn't slip. It does slip. But um, all right, here we go. That's the router I'm using, just a little Makita trimmer. I'm not using the Viva one. <laughs> this is the one I've got here. Um, and if we go to there and to there, how's that look? Here you go. All right. Let me put some earphones on so I can hear. Let's go. And you want to go against the direction of rotation. One done. Second one. Dunsky. Um, these corners here, I think I might might just blunt them off too. I'll wait until that one stops. Okay.
Now sand those all around, take these pencil marks off with a rubber. Oh, what are we on? Here we go. Uh, well, the industry is aquatics. I work for a design engineering firm. Oh, that sounds good. Well, that's creative, isn't it? That's growing things, making use of what people have. Terrific. I look forward to your message. Okay. Now find me sander. Oh, throw that off. I've mentioned I don't like that sandpaper, but I got boxes of it, so I've got to use it. It's go. Might go 180. I love this sander, those Merc sander have to be the best sander around, I reckon. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Can tell you now, when I put oil on these, they are going to pop like you would not believe. Okay. Come 
in a little bit. Uh. Oh, made a mistake there. Should be okay there, we'll get away with it. Um, what I didn't take into account was these are on an angle and these aren't. So what I'm going to do is just true these up, drop down with a straight cut and then we'll, we'll go from there. See, things happen all the time. Oh, didn't even think of that. So I thought, oh no, because the, the uh, where, where is one? The arms that they had, they only had real small little tendons on it, which I didn't like. Oh, there you go. They only had these real small little tendons. And I thought, oh, no, I want bigger ones than that. And I thought it would be better to have the full width. But now I've just realised because it's an angle, I got it in the well. There you go. Just got to fix things on the run, don't you? Just another one to add to the Christmas bloopers channel. That's all right. I'll put that one there. And it shouldn't really show up. Well, it's underneath. That's one. Two. I'll estimate these. I love it when you make mistakes live. Says he half-heartedly. That's all right. Oh. I'll tell you what, without a whirl on it, it feels just gorgeous. The next oil I'm going to put on, which will be after I do this, is um, I'm going to use steel wool. We cut into the grain of the timber and also knock off any furring up that's happened with the timber. Uh, there you go. Yeah, that'll be. It'll be right. If I didn't tell anyone, no one would know. Needs a sharpen. Could be a job for Christmas Day. There you go. If I stream on Christmas Day, I'll, I'll sharpen my chisels. Boom, 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 boom. These Japanese sort. Huh. 
<sighs> oh, that's something to remember if I ever make these. This one can go there. We're going to make that a little bit thinner and that one a little bit thinner. And then we will be laughing. benches I just can't get in a purchase on it. There we go. I'll go that way and we'll go this way. Inside's gonna be easy because it can sit flat on the bench. Rage Guitars, hi, how are you? Oh, I just <laughs> myself in the eye with that one. All right, here's another less message yourself. Well, I can't really. I was going to say, trim these tenons down before I do the arm, but I can't because just in case for whatever reason, The tenons don't line up with the arm once I put the frame together. So, yeah, I guess it's a lot like, you know, chicken or the egg syndrome. Okay, what's that? A little bit to come off that one. Little bit. Yeah, well she's a little bit fat on the end. One fitted. Oh. Let's cut a bit off that and a little bit off that, and then we will be. As you can tell, quite a good fit.
I love this rebate plane. I was on the timber trip when we cut the tree down and Terry made it. So. Makes it a little more special, I suppose. Suspose. Okay. All done. So all we've got to do now is stain these, stain this again, or oil it. And then tonight, after I finish doing, I'll actually glue these in place. But right now, knock them off. And we can, I'll give it a rub with 240 as I did with the frame. Where's that bit of 240? It's most likely about 300 now. That's 120, don't need that. What did I say 240? That's up here. There we go. I'm sure there was no doubt, but if there was ever a doubt that Oh, I'm sure he doesn't do his own work. There you go. You just saw me do all that in the last three days. So anyone can do it. Believe me, if I can do it, anyone can do it. It's, it's not hard, but you just have to practice a lot. You wait until I put the oil on these. They're going to look spectacular. Especially this bit I've got in my hand at the moment. Silky Oak for Crike, I think. Last job I did yeah, was church furniture, ecclesiastic furniture. There's a set of stands um, in St John's Cathedral in Brisbane. Made those in Silky. And I think there's a couple of Glastonbury chairs and a prayer kneeler I made for a church in Mount Omini, that would have to be 30 years ago. Count the knife block I did for a friend. All right, now. And all this stuff is just basically remnant of that. So whenever I've moved, I've always taken all my timber with me because you never know when you want it. Uh, dear. Oh, wow! That was a long time ago since we are on Twitch. It's quite interesting because I'm... Uh, come over here because I'm up for a new phone. But I said to myself, I couldn't be bothered by the phone because no one rings me anyway. So there you go. Because not many people know my number. And that's okay too. Now we're on focus there. So let's put some colour on this. I'll do that. I'll do the, oh, not the bland one, but I'll do the one that's not as high in figure first. Oh dear. 
Here we go. This one. Oops. that one. Now we'll do this one. Are you ready? Isn't that just gorgeous? In hindsight, I suppose I could have left that and just filled it with or something, but I didn't want to do that, so I didn't. There you go. Now I might just get that chair up. We'll do that again. This to one side. We got a, a chit chat going on or what? Four hour. Trip Christmas Day, so I won't be watching. Oh, that's all right, Trevor, but there might be people who've got nothing to do. And it's nice to have something to do. I don't, I don't know what I'll be doing. That's if the boss lets me. I don't know. She might. No, you can't. Um, where did I put the chair frame? Oh, here it is. Okay. Right now. I might. There's every chance I'm going to spill it. There you go. Oh, steel wool. Here we go. So there's ordinary, that's a 4 a steel wool, that's Libron steel wool. I'd say g'day to Carol, but she's not here. But g'day anyway. Okay, let's do that. And I'm gonna rub this all in. Yeah. And have the texture of sawdust on it. And no, I didn't put my gloves on. Trev, four hours? That's a fair distance. Going west, north, south. I'm going 20 minutes. No, I'm not. I'm staying here. That's right, because we're going to have actually Christmas Day per se on Christmas Eve. Come on, I can get all my, my boys together and I don't have to compete with other in-laws or stuff like that. And depending on how this afternoon, I might give it another coat. Just put some polish on it. Some um, maple wax polish. Thank you. 
not going to wipe the excess off because it's very fine it should soak in all right i'm gonna off camera i'll fix that um putty that i put in that didn't color match that's all right That's, that's that. It really has brought the colour out when you, that's the colour of the timber before it gets wet with a stain or whatever. So I'll put that to one side. It's a bit soon, but I'll do these two. And because I'm going to swing this on, you've got to be careful you don't get any oil into the mortises or else the glue won't take. Whereas if they're nice and dry, the glue will take without any dramas. And side of them. Last bit. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Done. Let me just wash my hands. <sighs> then I'm going to have a look at this frame. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Clean my hands and then wipe the bench off and we can go again. Fun. North. <laughs> yeah, on you, Trevor. The good. Oh, you're only doing that because Theo doesn't get many people watching. <laughs> he does. He gets about 800 or 1,000 at a time watching. I remember the good old days of Twitch when we used to do that and we get, what are they rated? 
you know, you might have 500 people there. Next day, you got 4,000 people watching. I think, no, the biggest one I had was 3,500. Um, oh, I've forgotten the girl's name too. She was lovely. I think she's still... still Oh, I've got to tell you, that stuff has left a horrible taste in my mouth. Let me see what I've got here. Oh, a bit of OJ. Oh, that's better. All right. Now, our next project. Put that back in the in the drum. <laughs> A red inch clean. Works. All right. Where's my mat? down there that's there where are we up to <whistles> gee when did we leave twitch have to be four years ago at least i think all right now oh picture frame out of Coachwood. Come around the long way because you won't get in that way. You come around the longest because it's just. Yeah, you can come in. I've come to tell you that the caravan's been invaded. They moved out. By quilts. By what? By quilts. Oh. So, hello. You know, it's yeah. he, you're all looking hot and bothered. I am. I'm going to sit down my back skill now. Oh, you poor thing. No, I reckon. See, this is where I'm going to make the f I'm looking at it, and I don't mm. know if it's going to be any good because it's a bit ordinary. But I've machined it up. What do you think of the chair? Yeah. So he'd be happy with that. I think so. And you're going to have another frame. You know that thing that I did for Limboida? Mm-hmm. She wants a frame done for that. Oh, she picked it up. No. Did I? Did I offer to do it for nothing, or did I, I offer to do know. it for money? I don't know. You're a sucker. If you Another know. freebie. See, I'd do anything to sell your quilts, wouldn't I? <laughs> look, look, look! Got three labels on there. You want the thing, huh? Not today. Oh no! All right, I'll bring that when I finish. Had too much. All right, you're going to have a rest and I will be up to work this out. 26 hot cooks so far. Yeah. Bagged up. How many? 26 so far. Oh, you wouldn't even notice that. You've got to have, two, you've got to have 200 quilts up there. Yeah. So that's it. We're going to, I told you the other day, we're going to get a, what is it? Shopify shop. Yeah. Let's get rid of some. Panda, oh my God, watching you while we work and have got so much more done. <laughs> I love it. I'm still trying to smooth the same side of the hickory board I glued together, hand plane gouges. Lots of tidy up. There you go. Oh, I'm pleased I could help Panda. Using a card scraper. Man after my own heart. All right, these ones are all right. These ones are all right. This one's a bit... Uh, I can't show you the poster because it's for one of my boys. 
And on the off chance they ever watch the old man do a stream, know what I got him. So look, I might have to rip that down, I think, because if I rip that, that'll be, we could be all right with that if I rip that down there. I don't know. Let me have a look, see if I've got a, where's the measuring stick? Oh dear. No, uh, oh, she gone, Trev, but I'll pass it on, mate. Oh no, we're right, we're right. We're right, I think, we're okay. Don't know how bad that is. Looks a bit manky. But we might be able to rip that off. It'll be right. So, now I've got to work out how big I've got to make the frame. Oh dear. Oh, there's a pretzel. <laughs> I was talking to a friend this morning. I had to get his mobile number. <laughs> I went. Grabbed the pencil, but it had glued itself to the bench. And the bench didn't move. My shoulder did, though. Okay, so we got... 9.10 by 6.10. So that means... That we'll go to there. Mill. That's ten mil. So if I go two, what's two and a half inches? Quick, two and a half in metric. Sixty-five. No, it didn't work. There, it's written on the tape. Okay, if I go sixty-five, I reckon that'll be okay. So we might, I might, are over. To where the saw is. And we can rip that up. Actually, we might cut that there because I might cut that first. Okay. Oh, do your brain works hard, doesn't it? Oh, I know what I did want to do. No, I wasn't. I was. I didn't want to mitre it. I wanted to um, lap joint it because it's easier. So. Six ten. It's going to be bigger than I thought. not going to do what I want it to do. Oh, I'm a square frame. I think I will. I'll just square frame with butt joints. It's going to be easier. So, that being the case, Excuse me while I'm thinking. That's five ninety. <laughs> 
It's a better way instead of trying to work it out, isn't it? We go to there, which is 12 mil, and we go the same on this one. This, you know, but with, with Christmas, I mean, I just, I just love the silly little things you do, and that's what this is. This is just a little silly thing we thought, or well, Sue and I thought, would be nice, a little spider. Come on, mate, off you go. Between that is 580. I just make sure there's I'm not going to lose anything in that. No, that'll be all right. Okay, so we'll go. There to there. Okay, we go 580. Sounds good. Whoops. <laughs> I'll pass all your wishes on to Susie. So 80. Let's go over and dock this. And then I've got to work out the length, don't I? So we'll go to that camera there, which will take you over to there. What are they doing, Snoop? You want to say hello to people? Come here, come on. There you go. Look at that, you're famous, are you? We, we can put you on the saw. Well, I'm not, not keen on that idea. Come on, there you go. Okay. Oh, wrong saw. Taking care of the bit. Now the long bit. We've got to work that out now. Where did another bit of woody stuff go? Might have to rip that down. 
That's all right, we can do that. So, I'm pleased I've got more than one tape measure around here. Oh. Um. I think it's 9.10, the length of it. Oh. and cut this bit so I've got a nice square to work off of. Six or one half a dozen the other. Nine ten. We go up to this other end. I'll mark that. That's to there. means that is to th that means we've got to dock that there One o three o. Hmm. All right, I'm going to see if I can get the out of this. Just about nearly. That's enough. All right, I'll just go and dock these. I'll go over to the door again.
You might be wondering why I cut it off and then take the second cut. The reason is the outboard fence is a little bit out and if I keep that cut, it's in. So if I do a major cut on the outside, a small cut on the inside where it's not touching the fence, I get a nice, a square of finish. All right, let's see if this is going to do it. Where is it? That's going to be just fine. <laughs> now I'm coming 12, so I'll get it there. Might trim these back just a smidge. What are they? 70. Yeah, I might bring it back to about 60. So we'll go with the table saw for that. And see what we can do. What else? Anything else? Nothing. All right. Oh. Now let me just have a look. All right, all right, all right. Table saw, here we go. Well, I say we can't cut this back at about 60. I'll just go above 60 and then I can get it down to 60. There you go. Um, no. I'm cutting so I have to measure to the inside of the saw blade. If I was ripping, it didn't matter, but I've got to get a width so it's got to be the inside of the saw blade. The blade the edge closer to the fence. If not, you end up with the width you want less the width of the blade, which many times is not ideal. Put my writhing knife in. There we go. This stuff's a bit snappy, so it's always good to have that in there.
Well, that didn't work, did it? I hit the stop button and it didn't stop. There you go. Might have to hit it a bit harder next time. All right. Well, I think that's possible. I'm going to stop it because we're going for about two hours. I've got to go and machine through the thicknesser, and I might even just get it together. Uh, to cut the back out, I will cut a cut it on a saw, and that's basically it. Might might do a quick uh, stream tomorrow so you can see the finished article, but. That's about it. The main thing was I wanted to get the chair, give that um, maybe another coat of oil, and then uh, glue the arm tomorrow, wax it so it'll come up really nice. This, as I said, I must likely um, biscuit it together, cut the internal out in the dado blade, and 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 then I'll play around with some. Um, routers to give it a bit of shape but that's it if you like the channel and you're new please hit the subscribe button i never know when i'm streaming uh, next year i might be a little bit more organized this year was definitely fragmented but if i don't catch you before have a great christmas if you don't believe in christmas enjoy your day off and uh i look forward to seeing you again oh no i'll be streaming before the end of the new year um so i guess that's it this is steve door down and saying remember to keep it sharp but more keep it safe look after yourself be kind to each other have a great Chrissy and I look forward to having your company in the workshop again at the workbench very very soon well then I'll catch you all later look after yourself be kind to each other which I think I've said but in this time of the year it's not bad when everyone's tied up in their own agendas and trips and Tempers can be a little bit frayed and emotions can be a little bit raw. So, yeah, just take care, everyone. Look forward to seeing you soon. Catch you all. God bless. Bye for now.